So our uh, hotel room didn't have Wi-Fi, really, and um, none of the guys put on a uh, an alarm. So we are here at the Coliseum. Isn't that amazing? So uh, while we're in line, I found this deconstructed horse. And that's it. It's a deconstructed horse. This is the holy side of the Coliseum because it's got a bunch of holes. Man, these ceilings are high. This is just incredible. Wow. Look at that. That is just beautiful. And look at these mazes down here. And they would put people down there. They'd have to try to find their way out. That's a really hard maze. I couldn't do it. I have to say, this is one of the coolest places my face has ever been recorded at. I think you guys can see it better now, but there are actually two floors to this maze. There's a better view of that. Isn't that crazy? I have a question for all the people that watch my vlogs. Are you not entertained? So I was thinking about it, and I realized that the Colosseum is actually the olden days version of American Idol. I mean, the audience got to say, you live or you die. And in American Idol, the audience, or America, gets to say, your dreams live or die. Huh. This guy came up to us. We were waiting for the girls to take pictures. And um, a guy came up, and he was like, hey, where are you from? We're like, America. And he's like, oh, that's awesome. I'm from Africa. And then he had uh, a bunch of stuff with him. And we started talking to him, and he was like, are you guys happy? You guys having a good day? And we're like, yeah, yeah, we're having a great day. Um, and he's like, I just, I just had a baby. And then he said, you know what? It's all good. I'm going to give you these bracelets. So we all got these bracelets. Isn't that awesome? Now we are at the ruins of uh, the city of Palatino. This is really freaking cool. So this seems to be a courtyard. And uh, we've got a bunch of statues here. But they're all headless. I guess they all went insane because they lost their minds. So this is really impressive. They have built about a four-story well, building into a mountain. And Olivia just called me a loser. I mean, that's this is the greatest day ever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So uh, we did a little pop-up concert, because, you know, Carpe Diem, went in Rome, um, and we sang O Manu Mysterium, which is a Latin song in Rome. So, like, man, that was awesome. And people actually started to stop and listen to us, and that was really cool. Some guy pulled us over and was like, oh, my God, that's great, and they clapped and everything. So that was fun. These ruins are just awesome. I mean, look at that building right there. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, there it is. Right there. That is beautiful. So every time I think we've seen everything, there's just another building. And it's beautiful. That's cool. So we just uh, sang three more songs in front of the Coliseum, and um, everybody around us just stopped, and there was more people coming, and they were clapping, and they were loving it. So that was fun. So uh, we got done looking at the ruins, and um, we went to find a place to eat. And there was a bunch of stuff outside, um, and all of the pizzerias were inside, and then they'd take the food outside. So we went to this one that was outside, and they couldn't seat us, but they had a restaurant that was only like a minute away. So the guy took us from there to here, and we got a whole booth right here. And it's super, super nice, and it's really cheap too. So I am excited for this food. I didn't eat breakfast. Bye, Coliseum! See you next time! When in Rome! So, uh, we actually stumbled across a hero tent. So there are actual TVs inside of the trains here. And uh, they usually play news, and on the news, they said that there are protests that are happening all over Rome for the past two days. Uh, just like the one that we saw. So, uh, I'm glad we're leaving tomorrow.
No one is. She is in Italy. So we're here now at the Trevi Fountain. Honestly, the most exciting part for me about being here is uh, knowing that Lizzie McGuire was here. The Lizzie McGuire movie was right here. Hey now, hey now, this is my dream made of. So I'm gonna make my wish now. And it's I have wet. to sit down. You know. Sorry. It's wet. Okay, oh, it's wet. Cool. I hope it comes true. Look at his rock hard abs. I mean, he is really chiseled. Second gelato in Italy, it's pretty darn good. For a second, you might think this is the Pantheon, but it's not. We're well, going we... there now. I'll take you to our leading expert on the fact. We know it's Roman because it has columns. Ah. Contrary to the belief that it's just in Rome. Right. Now this is the Pantheon. Now we can tell this because the columns are actually smooth. So we apparently came at the exact wrong time because there's a service going on, so we can't go inside. But you can kind of see it in the distance right there. So that's cool. Uh, so we just escorted the girls home uh, to their hotel and uh, we were in the elevator and we took the elevator down and we were just in the elevator and I was like this is the way we die we die this is the way we die and then the elevator stopped and it started not being funny anymore and then I kept on singing it for some reason and then I stopped because I got scared and then it finally let us out. Uh, so that was weird. And then we went to our hotel, got in our elevator, and it went up about three floors, and we were singing, and then it just stops in the middle of us holding a cord. And then we couldn't figure out how to get it down until like five minutes later, and then it finally let us out. So I don't think I'm gonna take any more elevators in Rome. Or maybe ever, but you know, whatever. I tried a bidet for the first time.